Hello all of you awesome people out there and welcome back to another super awesome Mega Wicked Cool video done by myself, Disowned Hero. And to begin with, I would like to apologise for the lack of videos over the last week. I was getting pretty good at getting near enough one hour a day, but unfortunately I've got a lot of, uh, let's say, real life stuff going on at the moment. So it kind of took a, to a bit of a back seat. But enough of that, anyway, let's move on to what we're going to be doing today. And as you can see, I've got a brand new frigate in front of me here, or brand new to me anyway, I've never flown one of these. And it is the frigate in the Concord ship lineup. It's the pacifier. And to me, it looks absolutely stunning. I've wanted to fly this for a while. Surely just because it looks brilliant. I mean, the blue and the white looks awesome. And yeah, to me, it just looks like an absolutely fabulous ship. Now, I did have a quick look on a few forums to see exactly what this thing can be used for and how I should be fitting it. And unfortunately, a lot of people are saying it's kind of, uh, well, useless, it's garbage, and shouldn't really be used for anything other than spinning around in stations. But I'm going to give it a whack anyway. I'm going to be doing some exploration in wormholes with it, and it's fitted for a little bit of um, slight PvP content in case we run into someone else. But other than that, it's, uh, well, it is what it is. Now, it's not... The forums weren't saying that it's it's terrible at everything, it's just that there was a lot of um, ships which matched it equally but cost a hell of a lot less. This thing is a little bit expensive. So when it came to like comparing it to an Astero, some people were saying it's maybe a little bit worse. Some were saying it's actually pretty you know, on par with the Astero, but the fact that it's cost three times as much meant that it wasn't really used very much. But enough about that anyway, let's have a look at the fitting I've got on here. Now it is a covert op ship, the same as all of the other Concorde ships you can get. Uh, so in the hides, I've got a Sisters Core probe launcher and I have 16 Sister Core scanner probes with me. We have the Covert Ops Cloaking Device 2. We have some blasters in the hides there. I'm using the Modal Light ones because I can't use Tech 2 yet, although I'm not far off. Um, another few days, I think. <laughs> uh, but anyway, in the mids, we have the Frostline Integrated Analyzer. We have a Warp Scram. We have a Micro Warp 2. And we have the Medium Ancillary Shield Booster as well. In the lows, we've got Magnetic Field Stabilizers, two of them. We have a Damage Control 2 and a Nano Fiber Internal Structure 2. In the rigs, we have the Small Burst Irator. I think that's how you say that one. And a Small Core Defense Field Extender as well. So for anyone who's not familiar with the ship, we'll just have a quick look at the... Um, the bonuses and stuff for it here and basically it's kind of an omni ship it can be used to do absolutely anything you want so if you're i mean you kind of need the covert ops skills anyway but uh, if you're i don't know training to galente frigates then you get the bonuses to the small hybrid turrets uh, if you're trained into Mimitar, Projectile, Kaldari is Missiles, Amar is the Energy. Now, I'm actually level 5 in, like, all of these, so I can use whatever the hell I want. Gets 100% reduction in cloaking devices, 10% uh, bonus to Relic and Data uh, Strength, which is why I'm using it for Wormhole Exploration today, because, well, I think that's what it's aimed for with this bonus here. Uh, can fit the Covert Ops Cloaking Device, and it can fit the Covert Sinosaur Field Generator, so it might be useful if it comes to, like, um, so if you're in a corp which needs... You know, these things set up, then this can do it. And you also get that this is unique to the Concord ships. You get a 10% bonus to security status gained from destruction of non capsulated pirates whilst flying this ship. So if you need to get your sex status up quickly, then uh, this might be the ship for you. Again, though, when I looked at the forums, it was saying it was a lot more cost effective and better ships for that, but the 10% here obviously will come in handy. And we also get an armor repair and shield boost effective increase by a percentage equal to 10% pilot security status with a floor of zero and a ceiling of 50. So what that means is if you are on negative standings such as myself, although I am slowly working to get them up, then uh, basically you're going to be getting a 0% bonus to armor and shield booster amounts. But if you're a, like um, so super, duper, super duper friendly guy who's got like a plus 10 to personal security status, then you're going to be getting the 50% bonus to armor and shield boosters. Now, what this also means is that it can be fitted for armor or a shield uh, tank. So you can fit any weapon you want. It can be fitted for armor or shield. So basically, anyone who sees this thing coming has no idea how you're fitted. It's not like some ships where you know, he has lasers or he's going to have this or that. This can be fitted absolutely anywhere you want it. And this is uh, what I've gone with here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to undock. I'm going to find a wormhole. Probably a few jumps away because I'm in, well, do you don't really want to be... Jumping in and out of wormholes right next to here. So I'll jump a few jumps away and uh, we'll jump into it. One thing I do want to point out is that this thing it cannot use drones, which is a bit of a shame, especially when you first look at this ship. I mean, you would think that this thing here, the big hole in the middle with like two doors, would be a drone bay. But unfortunately not, especially if you're going to be doing um, PvE stuff in this to get your security status up. It would have been nice to maybe get some... Uh, some salvages or something in there just to help make it worthwhile, you know, getting a little bit of extra cash in, but not to be. So, um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. In fact, just before we do, I know I'm taking a long time with this opening, but we'll just compare this 
and like all these numbers here to an Estero. I've got this thing cost 265 mil estimated. Now I think I've just paid about 300 mil because I'm in somewhere where things aren't really that cheap. I was paid about 300 mil for this. And if we just jump over to uh, get rid of that one. Jump over to an exploration fit I have for an Estero. So we have 125 DPS, 2,800 effective hit points, and we have a, a, a shield boost rate of 48.7. So just keep track of this number here. So let me jump over to this one. This costs a hell of a lot less. It's like a third of the price. Uh, it's fitted for exploration, although it kind of needs updating. I don't think I've used this fit for a while. But, I mean, I haven't even got Ansel paste in there um but we have more ehp we've got a slight less dps but it's got more of a tank on it i mean just look at those resists compared to what we just had a second ago um so yeah i think people might be right this this uh, fit might not be ideal or this ship might not be ideal i mean maybe i've got the fit wrong quite often do um but we're gonna give it a go anyway because well i had one lying around and why the hell not so bear with me guys i'll go find a wormhole and we'll jump straight into it Oh, right, so I'm in a system and we have two. I'm going to put this over here actually so you can see. We have two signatures here, so let's start scanning these things down. Um, I'm looking over there, I've just moved it here. Uh, start scanning these things down and uh, see what we can find. Alright, so we actually have a wormhole here. Now, I'm actually unsure as to how to classify these from just looking at them. So, what I do is I've got Z Killboard open here. So, once I get inside, we'll be able to. Um, that did also reload. We'll be able to just put it into Z Kill and um, the wormhole classification in the top, and it'll tell us exactly what level it is. But usually, come on, get there. <laughs> usually, it's like C1, C2. You'll first jump into it, and you have to go like a few jumps into it to get to the, the better, bigger, and a greater loot. So, let's get in here. Hey. And uh, have a look. Alright, so I've said it again. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. The first thing you want to do is actually bookmark um, your exit. I simply call them exit. The next thing I usually do is, I've got these kind of open on the screen by the way, which you can't see, but I am descanning. Uh, the next thing I do is I just select a random point in space. Let's say here. I will align to that, drop my probes, Warp to it at a hundred, not at zero, because you don't know what's there. And uh, activate my cloak, and that's me pretty much safe now in this system. I've got my probes out. I've got oh, I need to bookmark the safe. Actually, a bit late for that, but usually I'd whack a safe in there as well, um, so I can just you know, obviously have a safe in system. Have I got one here already? I've got a lot of safes from lots of different wormholes. Uh, no, I don't. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'll make one as I'm flying around. I'll just start heading in like a. A random downwards motion here so um yeah we're safe we've got probes out i've got d-scan up i can see there's nothing here but my own probes on d-scan so what i'm going to do is start scanning these things down but actually let's type this system into z kill shall we and see what system it is so it is j15 um 1141 and it is a class one there we go pretty sure class one's the lowest and class five's the highest um, yeah, so let me just scan these down and let's see what we can find. Alright, so this one actually looks a lot better than the last. There was nothing in the last. I don't know if I stopped the fast forwarding to tell you, but there was two ventures popped up on uh, D-Scan, so I did stop for a second to try and find them, but I couldn't even see any, you know, mining spots around, so I have no idea what they were doing. Right, so what am I doing here, right? I need two, save location, exit two, so I know what I'm doing. Uh, next, again, I want to warp to, let's say, this one here. So I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll then warp to this at 100. And this time, I'm actually going to make a bookmark on the way. Uh, which we'll just put in safe locations quickly. There we go. So we've got safe made. Probes out. No one else on D-Scan. So we're free to scan all these down and see what we can find. Let's have a look which way I'm holding in this time. Actually, like I said, I still have no... Up to medium ships can fit in this one, but I still have no idea what that actually means. So we are J1... I'm using the wrong pad. J130125, which is... A class 2. So we're moving up in the world slowly. Uh, so let's see what we can find in here. Now, what I'm looking for, in case you don't know, is I do not want the sleeper sites. This thing's not going to run them whatsoever. Probably get one shot as soon as I walk in. I'm looking for Blood Raider, Grister, 
Um, I don't think Sancho have them. I forget which ones do. But basically, any pirate faction sites, because that will not have any ships inside. Or hopefully, won't have any ships inside. Can't remember if I've ever walked into one that does have uh, NPCs in it. Um, ooh, two guardian sites here. So yeah, I'll scan this system down. This one might take a little bit longer since there's so many here. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, so once again, we do not have anything here except for this uh, unsecured one. And these ones, by the way, they've says unsecured in the name or perimeter in the name. Then these are not the ones you want unless you're obviously trying to take on sleepers. So uh, what we'll do is we'll just go up into 100 to show you um, exactly what's inside them. If you haven't seen my sleeper videos, by the way, then uh, click on my name and scroll down and go find them. Because I do actually do sleeper sites from time to time, but that's not what I'm going to be doing today. So if you're ever unsure, yeah, just warp in at 100. I mean, they're not going to blast you from this far away. And yeah, there we go. As we can see, lots of things here which are going to shoot me. So let's just jump to one of these wormholes I found. And it's probably going to be easier if I just come back to you guys once I actually find a few okay. sites. Because otherwise, you're just going to watch me scan down system after system after system. Um, so yeah, go have a cup of tea or something and I'll be back in a minute. All right, so this is exactly what I'm looking for here. See, so it's got Serpentus in the name, so it's actually a faction one, not like a, so a, um, a forgotten one. Um, yeah, since I see anyone in here, I'm going to warp to it. I'm not sure if I told you guys what system we're in. I can't remember when I actually decided to stop recording every system I was scanning. Um, but this is still a class two. We're still in the class two system. There's no one in here. Lots of wormholes and lots of these perimeter things as well. But um, yeah, finally found one. So let's have a look. At what we can get from here so this ship it's not how fast is this ship actually uh two three nine four right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna um kind of bookmark these oh, i thought it could but something going on over there that looks quite cool thank you so much Iggy. but as you can see there is no enemies in these whatsoever so if you are looking for some high loot in some undefended sites uh, it is these kind of things you're looking for. Not the perimeter ones, but the ones that have like a faction name in them. Serpentis, Blood Raiders, Garista, those kind of ones. So I'm just going to, I can't see anyone on d so I'm going to take a chance here and actually uncloak and um, you know, shift me booty a little bit and actually get over there. Now I know most of these are shouting saying there's an order that you should be done in from like highest loot to lowest loot. Because obviously if you get interrupted halfway through, you want to have at least done the cans, which had the most loot in. But um, off the top of my head, I can't actually remember which ones are better. So I'm just going to start from the closest and work my way out. So I can use this thing from 6,000 meters, which is awesome. Also, V is the shortcut for your D-scan, by the way. So just smack V every now and then. And I want to probably orbit this at about 1,000. Uh, that can go off now because it will just slingshot me well out of the way. That thing locked awfully fast. Um, yes, yeah, so let's start hacking whilst using D-scan every few seconds just to make sure nothing's they're going to be sneaking up on us anything you kind of run into in warehouse space anyway most of the time i'm going to say always but most of the time does actually have a cloak on it so you won't know until it's right on top of you anyway uh, let's pick the oh that's right on there this only has two slots whereas the tech one variants actually have three uh three three two two three two two it's gonna be something there it is take that one there's 8 mil from there. Move on to this one next. Alright, so we have a nemesis on scan. So I'm not actually going to warp off yet. I'm going to see if he comes in. I'm pretty sure we should be able to take a nemesis out. Depends on what range. If he warps in at like north, we should have him. If he warps in at like anything over about 20, it's going to be a bit of a no-go. But I've aligned to my safe just in case. I can still see him there. Nemesis, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, can use a cloak, so I'm not sure why he's not cloaked up. He's within... Not within 10. Oh, now he's cloaked. Um, I am tempted to try and finish that one, but I think I'll just wait a minute or two and see if he actually comes in. Also, remembering that I can actually cloak up myself, so we'll have no idea that I'm even here. So we can even stop now if he wants it. Now, 
Now, if I was in Anastao, I'd have no problem just carrying that sight on. Because I know against the stealth bombers, which have virtually no tank whatsoever. So you can easily, um, easily take the hits from them. Get your drones out and blow them up. But this thing, since I don't have drones and I've got to be awfully close. So unless it's me initiating the fight and I can get close enough to, to actually start uh, blasting him. I can't actually do that because I'm cloaked. Uh, I can get close enough to start blasting him. Then I'm a little bit unsure. Maybe... Hmm... Maybe blasters wasn't the best idea. I was thinking more of me dropping it on people rather than people dropping it on me. Um... A bit closer to this thing. We'll just wait another few minutes. He, I'm pretty sure he's cloaked up now. I mean, he could have just been passing through. I haven't seen any other probes out on this. Yep, they're mining in space. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should get rid of them. So unless he's already scanned this down and said there's a bookmark, he shouldn't really know where I am. Ah, it doesn't matter anyway, because the site has timed out. So... Uh, what did we get from that? I can't actually, I don't actually know when I started, but I know I'm not doing too well at the moment. 15 mil. It's uh, not brilliant. Wow. That actually looks rough. I wasn't expecting them all to blow. I've never actually been in one long enough for it to time out, to be honest. There we go. They do time out and they do go boom. Right, so I'm just going to keep going and see if I can find another one. If that nemesis pops up, if he forgets to put his cloak on again, then I will, uh, I'll see if I can find him and take him out. Alright, so here we are, another one. Now we have a sister core scanner probes out. Unfortunately, I've never been in this system, so I've not bookmarked anything whatsoever, but let's see if we can also start scanning and, uh, Again, I wouldn't mind getting into a fight with this, but I'd like it to be one... I wouldn't say an easy kill, don't get me wrong. I'm not planning on running into, like, a venture, because that's just going to be boring for everyone to watch, but... Um, not running into a Stratios or something like that would be a lot better. <laughs> uh, so, same again. Let's uh, save location for this. Four. All right, so I think I have found exactly what I'm looking for now. This wormhole, I'm pretty sure, is a lot higher than a class two. And that's because when I look in the info here, it says this seems to lead into deadly unknown parts of space. But I'm pretty sure the other ones just say it seems to lead into unknown parts of space. So hopefully we get um, some good things in here. There's also a higher chance that there could be people living in here. Um, I don't want to say it's going to be a class five or whatever the highest one is, but... I think when it says deadly, you know, it's pretty far up there. So let's jump in and uh, see what we can find. Why am I not jumping in? There we go. All right, so straight away, I've got two retrievers on uh, D-scan. So I'm just going to do what I would normally do, which is save the location of this as exit five. I don't believe I had to go through five um, wormholes so far, and I've only found one Right, I'm looking for. There's only actually three signatures in here as well. Oh uh, well, alright, so we'll go to all. We'll pick one quite far away because I know there's two retrievers around me here. So let's go to um, this one, align to there, drop them, activate cloak, and warp to. I know I don't usually warp to zero, but I forgot which one I aligned to, so uh, <laughs> warp to zero it is. Uh, let's get a bookmark on the way. Let's just call it safe. Uh, too flipping close now. I need to speed up on me creating safes. Anything here? And nothing on D-scan here. Uh, there is an upwell moon mining beacon. Yeah. For a second, I thought it might have been a structure. I'm just going to start heading down and uh, scanning about for these things. Now, two retrievers on their own. Not a problem if I was in any other system. And I could see how many people were in space kind of thing. Even if there's like you know, five or six and there's only two retrievers out. I'd be pretty safe thinking that, you know... They're not going to bother me as long as I don't bother them. But in wormhole space, you see, people like to... Because uh, you can't claim these systems. You can't do what you do in another system and just put a territorial claim thing down and have it up here say, this belongs to goons or this belongs to whoever. Uh, the only way you can claim it is to actually just annihilate everyone that walks into it. So, 
For all I know, these two retrievers could be flipping combat fit and we'll come looking for me as soon as you see what I'm in. Uh, but yeah, let's scan these down and uh, have I got a safe already in here? No. Uh, yeah, we'll scan these down and see if we can find anything we're looking for. Oh, there's only three sites, so it'll probably be a bit unlucky. Oh, before we actually cut off. Uh, okay, go away. Uh, sorry, it's my vivid computer saying you've got an email. Uh, let's have a look what system and what class this is. So this is J104859. It is a class 6, so this is the highest you can get. I don't think there's a class 7. Uh, so let's see what we've got in here. But at least we know we're heading in the right direction anyway. All oh, right, so we found a high sex system here. So let's poke our noses out, shall we, and see where we are. Uh, since we're about to jump into high sex, I see no harm using my uh, my micro warp. And I'm a bit disappointed. I don't know if they changed it. You used to be able to find the um, the faction sites all over the place. Like you jump through a four way hole and find five of them. I found one, and I went through six different different way holes there. Uh, where are we? I'm all, uh How far away am I from home? Twenty jumps. Uh, we're back through the wormhole space. So I've been going for just a little over. I've been recording for one fifty, an hour fifty. Um, so I've actually been flying around for probably by the time I actually started and like undocked and stuff, maybe an hour, a little over an hour, an hour ten, hour twenty, and made F all fifteen mil. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um. It seems to be whenever I turn the camera on and start recording, I just don't seem to do very well. But anyway, this wasn't really about making money. If I wanted to make money, I'd you know, well, be in a stratos or something doing the same thing and also hunting down other people. But uh, this was mainly just to see how the pacifier handled. And to be honest, it, it, it felt really good. It was fast enough. I could micro warp around quick enough inside the sights. Uh, warp speed was fairly decent. At, what was my warp speed on this thing? Um, see what it says now. 10? Oh, isn't it? that's quite high, isn't it? 10. So this thing this thing can warp around at 10 AU. What's this? 5? Alright, so this thing is fast. Okay, that's why I was struggling making the bookmarks. I think, I don't know if I showed them on cam, but I kept trying to make bookmarks as warping around. But by the time I actually pushed Control B and typed the name in, I was there. So this thing is fast. If you're going to be doing sites, then the speed is with you. But... Other than that, I think everything else is a bit of a downside. It's expensive for a frigate. I mean, I ran into a Loki and a Nemesis, or at least I had them on scan anyway. I kind of just ran away from them. Didn't have anything to run away from. I didn't find any sites, but so as soon as I see something like that on grid, I was like, ah, it's well out of my depth. Didn't feel comfortable trying to take anything on with this, really. I even seen a Retriever and a Coveter, I think it was. I didn't even want to find them, to be honest, because I think five light drones on this would easily take it out. So bit of a con i mean it could be my fit and these can be fitted absolutely any way you wanted you can go for a, a decent armor tank you can go for an even better shield tank you could put different weapons up here you could drop things off put things on do whatever the hell you wanted with them but for my skills and this fit yes the sites were easy to warp around to navigated wormholes very quickly had no problem scanning had no problem doing anything else so it was a fast nimble ship but it's expensive and even running into a stereo i think would be a bit of a gamble whether you'd win the fight or not so i'm gonna leave it at that i'm gonna keep hold of this i'm gonna try it out in some pv stuff and um eventually once i've run out of things to do with it we'll take it into low sec or something and see if we can uh, get a, a few few semi kind of you know, not one sided fights out of it. So other than that, this video is done. So thank you all so much for watching. If you did like this video, then please hit the like button down below. If you haven't already, then hit the subscribe button because we've got the billionaire series back. So you want to keep up to date with that. Hit subscribe, whack the bell icon so you get notifications. And um, yeah, stay awesome. I'll see you right here very soon in another video. Bye bye. So it is actually pretty cap stable. It does last quite well. I've only had to actually warp out once. So wait, wait, notice. I've only had to actually warp out once so far. Due to uh, due to cap issues and not being able to wrap up, and that was just down to the frigates building up that much and all of them and me, so so it was kind of almost inevitable. Uh, so yeah, it was kind of a